Welcome to Read This Author's Corner. I am your host, Alice Maria, and today I'm excited to have with me Ayana Watts, the author of Asha Landry Gives the Solar System a Spin, her first children's book. Welcome, Ayana. Welcome, Ayana. It's so great to have you on Read This. I can't wait to talk to you about your book and the fact that you're getting young girls and young kids in, interested in STEM so early. But before before we go there, would you mind telling the audience a little bit about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you for having me on. Yeah, so I'm from Brooklyn. I was born and raised there. And I've been drawing and writing for as long as I can remember. Um, I actually illustrated the book as well as wrote it. I've always been interested in science and learning. So I thought it'd be a a really great thing to kind of pass on to the next generation. Um, As a kid, I didn't really have that many mentors um, for science and that kind of thing growing up. You know, you didn't see it a lot on TV, especially uh, people of color. So I wanted to... Um, change that. I wanted to uh, give back in a way and see something that that I wanted to see when I was a kid. Yeah, you you decided to become the change you want to see, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that that's excellent. So <clears throat> we're we're looking at the solar system in this book. Is that your primary focus of interest, or are you just interested in science? In um, I'm interested in, in, in science in general. Yeah. So we start with the solar system and then the next book is going to be about um, the sun, the earth and the moon and shadows. And we're just going to go through like a whole bunch of different, um, you know, science experiments and activities as we go through the series. Because this book is this book is um, the start of the series. And so I've got ideas for um, maybe about five books in this series. Wow. And then I've got other characters that I want to bring in and. So I think I've got a long way to go with this. And as well as uh, Black history and, and Black scientists, I want to I want to focus on all that. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, that's such a good foundation. And there's like a whole class that you could be teaching on this. So talk to me a little bit about the start of your drawing. So you said you've been drawing and writing for very long. So how did these characters come into yeah. form, form um so this particular character um i used to enter like drawing challenges uh one called illustration friday and i just happened to draw this character and um she was just a little girl um on the steps of a museum outside you know with her classmates and my mother actually took a look at it and she she thought you know who is this you know what what story does she have to tell and I hadn't really thought about it, but that that got me thinking. And this was where the book started, you know, from her question, you know, what what this story does this person have to tell? And at first she was just a shy little girl. But I like my love of science came through because I knew she um, she had more to say than just, you know, it started there. And um, it, it kind of took a while. I'll be honest. It took about 10 years to really get the story going. But once I had like the full idea, um, I put in like science vocabulary words and kind of interactive things to help the kids get like interested more in the book and engage with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. What the, I, I find it interesting. You said your mom is the person that caused you to uh, take your drawings and give them a story. Like, who is this person? What is their story? Talk, talk to me a little bit about that and that inspiration um yeah she uh she did that a lot actually she was always like what's this character's name what's their story and like she she got me thinking about that because I I would draw before I would write I've been drawing since like I said since I was very young and that started first I didn't start writing until high school and so she but she would always like encourage that she would be like you know um you know give give them a name write me a story tell me tell me what's going on here and she kind of encouraged that um that creativity in me and she was like my big supporter so that's why I did dedicate the book to her and um uh, you know sometimes it's it was hard for me to um to like kind of get out of that box but she always you know pushed me to move it a little bit further take it to the next level so and that that's that's great I love the fact that you did have somebody that um, encouraged you in that way and 
took one discipline and turn it into two right so yeah. you were already drawing and she was like no let's 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 give these people a story let's tell their story so talk to me about this particular character and the story that you're telling in this in this particular book yeah so this character um is asha landry and she's five years old she's just started kindergarten she's not big into it at first she would rather stay at home, you know, play with the tablet. But, you know, we all got to we all got to go to school. We all got to branch out. So she's she's bored at first. But then her science teacher brings in a model of the solar system. And that's what kind of gets her into it. You know, it's something she never knew before. It's something she's never seen before. So that kind of sparks her interest in learning. And I think, feel like we all had had that teacher, you know, who came and was like, oh, wow. And like, you you know, you got something that you never thought about before. I've had a lot of teachers like that, especially throughout high school. And I kind of wanted um, this teacher to be kind of like her, her inspiration and maybe a little bit her Miss Frizzle. You know, if you've seen the right, school, but, right. you know. That, that, that's cool. What would you say would be <clears throat> some of what a, a child would take away from reading your book? Um, I hope they take away... Um, an interest in learning and just the idea that they can do it. Um, that's like the main theme of this book. Uh, you know, she does get a little nervous towards the end about, you know, what they have to do because they have to give a presentation and she's not sure if she can handle it. But um, she talks to the teacher, she talks to her friends and her parents, and, you know, she eventually gets the courage to, to make it through and, and push through. So I want kids to learn that it's possible. You know, if you want to be a scientist, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a writer, um, if you want to go to the moon, you know, whatever it is you want to do, you can do it as long as you, um, you know, get that courage up and keep keep pushing. So what do you why do you think you are so passionate about science? Um, gosh, that's a hard question to answer. Like, I've always been just into PBS and just science shows. Like whenever something new would come on, I would be there um, watching it. It just fascinates me. Like I love to think about how the world works and how the universe works, you know, for everything from biology to um, astrophysics, honestly. <laughs> I just love to learn, you know, I'm curious. I've always been that way. So I yeah. hope to pass that on to this book. I, I understand the learning part. Uh, uh, one of the one of my jobs, we had to take a, one of those kind of personality tests and it described me as a learner. So. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a great thing, you know, because when you stop learning, you stop living. You know, I like to learn languages. I like to learn anything I can get my hands on. Yeah, it's really excellent. And the fact that you say in the upcoming book, you're going to be talking about inventors and different different avenues of learning and science and math. And that's so important that we teach our young people the importance of these things and not just music and sports. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were giving a presentation at school or talking to a parent, um, what would you say? Why would you tell a parent they should grab your book? Um, so the book is actually it's a chapter book. So it's for children seven to nine. The main character is five. But but um, I think this is a good book to grab for their kids um, so that they can um, foster that curiosity. Because if you want to learn, if you love to learn, you're never going to stop. It was like you can't you can't teach that, you know, you have to kind of inspire it. And this book, is, it encourages you to interact. It, um, it has a vocabulary word, so they can kind of hopefully stick with it and they can like more get into their mind. You know, it encourages them to draw and write. So um, it's not just a book you read or a textbook. It's something you interact with. And hopefully that that curiosity um, is fostered through that because like the more you interact with something and the more you make it yours the more you the more you want to um keep going with it so i would say uh yeah to parents definitely it's going to foster that curiosity and that's going to lead them to want to learn more i like that the foster the curiosity
So one, I would love for you to read the first chapter of the book and the, and then we'll take it from there. Okay. Yeah. Here's a book, actually. Asha Landry gives a solar system spin, and I'm going to read the first chapter. Chapter one. All right, class, quiet, please, said the teacher. She clapped her hands three times, and they all stopped talking. We have a new student with us today. Her name is Asha Landry, and I want you all to make her feel welcome. She took me over to a table that was just my size and made me sit there between two boys. This is Marcus and Georgie, and I can tell you're all going to be the best of friends. I wasn't so sure. I wished I was still at home with mommy. I asked her why I had to come here to kindergarten. She told me it was called kindergarten and that here I would learn new things. Maybe I finally learned why it was called kindergarten, which I had asked her a bunch of times. I already knew how to read and write and count to 10. That was enough. I thought, if I, I thought that if I found out what kindergarten meant, maybe I wouldn't have to come back. When it was science time, a teacher named Miss Ola came in. She was cool looking. She had a big afro and an outer space dress with stars and stuff on it. And she brought in the thing with the sun and planets on it. This is a model of our solar system. We're going to study the solar system for a few weeks. Can anyone tell me what the solar system is? She asked. Georgie raised his hand. It's uh, um, a place where all the planets and stuff that go around the sun are. That's right, Georgie, the solar system's where we all live. We all live on planet Earth, and Earth is a planet in the solar system. The sun's the center of the solar system, and all the planets and space objects in our solar system move around the sun. That's why it's called a solar system, because the sun is at the center, and solar is the word that means about the sun. Does anyone know what it's called when the planets go around the sun? Miss Ola asked. No one? That's okay. I'll tell you, it's called orbiting. Orbit means to move around the sun in a curved path, like making an oval. Can everyone say that word? Orbit? Orbit, we all said. I, uh, tell me about your character, because she, she's a little sassy. She's cute, yeah. she's fun, she's just a little sassy. I already knew how to count. I love, <laughs> I love the energy you've given her. So yeah, where did that come from? Yeah, I wanted to, her to feel like a real person and a real kid. Um, growing up, I used to read like Junie B. Jones, and she's kind of like a sassy character. So she kind of gets that from that. And like a little bit from me, I guess, because, you know, I'm always um, speaking my mind and, uh, um, you know, thinking, oh, uh, well, I, do I really need that? Do I really need to listen to this? You know, <laughs> but sometimes you do. And sometimes, you know, you don't know everything. So... <laughs> I, I love that part of the the story like why do I need to be here I already know this yeah. and, or and she thinks we're going to be best friends I don't think so you know I, I love I think that um she's so relatable she's so yeah. relatable very good very good thank you so much for sharing that with us um before we wrap up the segment, can you just, is there something that you want the audience to know uh, that we haven't discussed? Um, no problem. That, um, you know, that this is a book for, um, for us, you know, this is a book for people of color, for black girls that have maybe thought, you know, that's, it's not for me. I can't do it. I can't make it like, yes, you can. Like, I, I want this book to be something that encourages people and especially our people, especially black girls who a lot of times get left out of the story or they're the side character. You know, this book is you're the main character. This is for you. You can do this. You can be a scientist. You can be whatever you want to be. I, I love that. Um yeah, I love that because I think of like hidden figures, you know, I, I was grown before I even knew we had women that were with, with a human computers. So yeah, that movie was amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah. So I'm so glad that you're doing this. I'm so glad that you're putting um, science out there 
for young black girls to see that, yes, you can do so much more than hair and makeup. You, you know, you you can yeah. be absolutely anything. Thank you so much for do- your book, your talent, your time. The fact that you illustrated the book and wrote the book. Um, kudos to you. Kudos. And thank you again for being on Read This and sharing your talent with us. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you so much for having me. My pleasure. My pleasure. I would like to thank my special guest, Ayana Watts, for joining me today to share with you Asha Landry gives the solar system a spin, giving young girls the opportunity to embrace STEM. This has been Read This, Author's Corner. I am your host, Alice Maria. Keep reading, keep growing, and stay empowered.